great. Hi. And nice of you to spare some time to talk to us. I know you're in the middle of your first tour, which must be quite hectic for you. It's going really well, thanks. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, you have actually received very good reviews. Uh, well, most of the ones I've read have been very good. Were you worried about what the critics were going to say about you? Yeah, I'm always worried what they're going to say. But um, I personally, I always feel that the most important thing is your audience. Mm. Because uh, whoever the critics are, it is only a personal point of view. And although it's very important, especially to the public, um, I can't help but feel that the immediate reaction you get there is what matters the most. And how have you found the reaction so far from the audience? Incredible. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Really. Now, of course, it is rather an elaborate show that, that you're, you're doing, isn't it? With sort of set changes, like either you're doing a bit of magic, all sorts of things going on. Uh, how long did it take to get the whole thing together? Oh, a few months. We've yes. been working since the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's coming along well. I mean, were many people involved in sort of the whole concept, or was it basically all your idea? Well, the major concept is, is basically mine. Mm. But I've, I've had a lot of help from people, and, and we've all worked together, really, on a lot of levels. And it, I think that's the best thing about it, you know, that everyone's really enjoying working with each other. Now that it has worked so well, I, I gather you were a little bit worried beforehand that it would all be OK. Now that it has proved to be so successful, do you think you might do a more extensive tour later in the year? That really depends. Um, so much depends on energies, you know, mm. because it can become very tiring with the mm. travelling. Mm. Um, I don't know, we have to wait and see. The last year was really definitely your year, wasn't it? Sort of hit records, you, you won practically every award going, your first mm. single went straight to number one. Did, were you sort of prepared for, for the success to happen as quickly as that? How can you pre be prepared for something like I that? I mean, well, did it sort of, did it stun you slightly that oh, yeah. everything was going so well? Absolutely, I mean, I'm, I'm still stunned by that. I honestly can't believe it. It never really sunk in. Yeah. It's uh, something that you don't expect to happen. And I, I'm just so lucky that people chose me. How old were you when you were first interested in music? Since I was a kid. I mm. mean, I've been into music since I was about five. But and when I was about 11, I actually started writing songs. I mean, could you play an instrument when you were 11 then? I was learning the violin. Yes. And I, I didn't like it. And uh, I used to go through the piano as a sort of uh, rebellion against the violin. And I'd take it out on the piano. And you'd actually started writing at that young age? I mean, were your family musical? Did they sort of encourage you? Yeah, my brothers were, but I, I used to just sort of block myself away. Mm. I was quite lonely as a kid, so I used to use my piano as a friend. What really inspires you then to write your songs? Did, I mean, do you actually sit down and say, right, I'm going to write a song now? Or, or does something that happens to you give you an idea? Well, even if I get the idea, I have to say, right, I'm going to sit down mm. and write the song now because you have to make that decision before you actually break through the thinking about it to doing it. Because mm. that's the trouble with everything. You can think about it for ages, but to actually do it is yes, the leap. Yes. And it, it really depends on, on so much as to whether it comes together. Well, Kate, thanks very much for talking to us. And good luck next week. I gather you're doing a week at, at the London Palladium. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that goes well for you. We're going to, in fact, hear your latest single now, the one that's doing well in the charts for you. Here's Kate Bush with Wow.
Não passa 